your toes are touching. So go ahead and reach your arms forward and rest the crown of your head on the ground. Start breathing in through your nose and exhaling out through your nose. You want to think about keeping your breath the entire practice and keeping that smooth transition. Inhale and exhale. Yoga is all about the breath. Reach your arms forward a little bit more. Dig your fingertips into the earth. And also, think about pulling your tailbone close to your ankles. If you would like to set an intention for your practice, a reason for coming on your mat today, go ahead and do so. We're going to take another few deep breaths. Inhale and exhale. Think of counting to three on your inhale. One, two, three. Hold it and then exhale. One, two, three. Give me one more, your deepest breath of the day. Inhale. One, two, three. Hold it at the top and exhale. Two, three. Now on your next inhale, bring up into tabletop position. Make sure that your shoulders and your wrists are in line and your knees and your hips are in line. We'll start slowly with some cat cows. So inhale, you want to drop your stomach down towards the ground. Think about reaching your belly button towards the ground and reaching your chest towards the sky and gaze up. On an exhale, round your tailbone down and round your spine towards the sky. Feel your nice cat back. Reach, up, reach your shoulder blades to the sky while gazing down between your knees. And then on your next inhale, gaze up and drop your belly towards the earth. And exhale, back down. Give me two more of these at your own pace, inhaling on the way up, deep breaths, and then exhaling on the way down. Your last one right here, inhale, arch your back, lift your chest to the sky, and exhale, tuck your tailbone underneath, tuck your toes, reach your hips towards the sky, and come back into your first downward dog. Pedal your left and your right feet, really trying to reach those heels towards the ground, thinking about pressing your chest towards your upper thighs, placing your palms flat on the ground. Your palms should be flat and out stretched wide, your middle finger facing the front of the mat. Your shoulders are engaged but dropped away from your ears. You should feel this in your hamstrings, your calves, and also in your shoulders. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, open mouth. Give me one other lion's breath. Inhale deeply. And exhale, open mouth. Give me a deep lion's breath. Now on an inhale, shift your weight towards your plank position. Your core is tight. Your glutes are tight. You want to make sure that your shoulders are in line with your wrists. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Deep breath in. Think about your entire body as one solid plank. Your legs, your arms, your core, everything is engaged. You want to think about looking at the top of your mat. One more inhale and then an exhale back to downward dog. Go ahead and pedal your feet left, right, and left, and right. Heels towards the ground and back towards the plank. We'll get into a little bit of upper body work here. If you would like to drop your knees to make it easier, that's fine. Or stay all the way up. Bring it down halfway. Want to keep your elbows in close to your sides. And then on an exhale, back up. Inhale, back to downward dog, and pedal your feet one more time. We're going to go through that one more time, so you can stay in plank position, or you can go on your knees. On an inhale, 
bring it forward to your solid plank position. You can feel free to drop your knees. And exhale down. Inhale back up. If you dropped your knees, tuck your toes and bring it back up to the plank. And then exhale back to downward dog. Take your right foot and lift it high above the ground, keeping your hips facing towards the ground. So no opening up your hips quite yet. Keep it down. Your toes should be flexed, pointed down towards the ground. Breathe right here. Now go ahead on an inhale and open up your hips and reach your legs sky high. Point your toes and on an exhale, come forward and bring your foot in between your palms. You want to check your knee and make sure that your knee is not going beyond your ankle and make sure that both your left and your right foot have their own lane within your mat. So make sure that your knee is not extending beyond your ankle. And drop your knee and let that top of the foot meet the mat. So inhale up and you want to think of your arms reaching towards the sky, your fingertips slightly in. So dig in towards that right hip. You want to lean forward, squeeze your glute. Squeeze your left glute, it should be active. If your knee hurts, you can always take just a little towel and place it underneath. But if your knee hurts, you also want to make sure that you're on the very, very top of your knee and not on the middle of it. So sink in towards that right hip, really opening up those hips, dropping your shoulders below your ears, really, really stretching your shoulders away from your ears and gaze up. Another inhale. Give me one more deep breath. Inhale, two, three, and on your next exhale, place your palms around your feet. Lift your knee up, remove that towel if you need to, and then take your right foot back to plank. If you'd like to drop your knees, you can. We're gonna go ahead and get into another little push-up. So inhale, just drop down about halfway, keeping your elbows in tight, lifting up your chin and gazing ahead of your mat, and exhale, push it up. And inhale back to downward dog. Pedal your feet left and right, stretching out those calves. Always think of breathing in through your nose and out through your nose. Yoga is a lifetime journey, so don't ever be upset if you can't get a pose or if it's difficult. And always know if it's not difficult enough, there's always challenges and variations. Take your left foot up. Keep it hip. Keep it at your hip. Keep it closed. Your left toes pointing towards the ground. You're going to think of really sinking in that right ankle and right heel towards the earth and flexing that foot. And on an inhale, open up and point your toe towards the sky, really opening up those hips. And then on an exhale, bring it forward in between your palms, making sure that your knee is in line with your ankle. Kind of bounce a little bit in that position, sink a little bit lower, making sure that your left foot and your right foot have their own separate lane on your mat. And then drop your right knee. And inhale, bring those arms up towards the sky, lifting your chest towards the sky. We think about that intention and why you decided to get on the mat today and remind yourself of what you're doing for your body, what you're doing for your future, and your health. And then exhale, down to the ground. Tuck that right toe underneath, and then back to plank position. We'll do one more push-up. So try to do it on your hands if possible. If not, it's perfectly okay to go to your knees. Exhale down two, three, hold to five, and back up. Tuck your, your toes underneath, and back up. 
Take a couple more breaths here at your own pace in Downward Dog, making sure to really stretch your chest towards the tops of your thighs, thinking about sinking your heels down. If they don't touch the ground yet, that's fine. If they're high up, just try to keep, keep them close to the ground. And then knees down. And we're going to finish here with a few cat cows. So inhale, arch your back. Feel the difference between when you started these today and when you're ending. And then exhale, notice the differences in your body from when you began and now. Inhale, do a few more at your own pace. Moving with your breath. Inhale, arch your back, and then exhale, tuck it underneath, and squeeze your spine towards the sky. And then neutral back. We'll end in child's pose. You can either leave your knees in and go back towards the toes. There's multiple variations of child's pose. And we'll keep our arms at our sides, touching the crown of your head on the mat and thanking your body for what it did for you today. If you felt this, if it felt like it helped you, leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up, and share it with your friends. Namaste. Thank you. Thank mm-hmm. you.